They say you are what you eat, so don't be fast, cheap, easy, or fake. How can you avoid this? By avoiding fast food. The fast food era started around the year 1919 with the A&W and White Castle restaurants in 1921. Years later, as the fast food industry began to expand, McDonald's restaurant opened as well as Wendy's, Burger King, Jack of the Box, and Taco Bell. The issue with this is we continually have more accessibility to junk food, and even more conveniently, at low prices. Fast food is good, many will agree. But it is not good for you. The negative effect most commonly caused is obesity. This happens when you intake more calories than you use. And it is quite easy to do that with a variety of options we have today. I mean, have you seen the amount of calories on the menu? Like the 1150 calorie hotcake breakfast at McDonald's. This effect can be life-threatening, perhaps not instantly, but in the long run. In 2013, studies showed that 17% of teenagers in the U.S. were obese. While children are at hospitals being treated for diabetes on one floor, there is a fast food chain located on the next. Now what about heart disease and diabetes? All of the salt included into that junk food causes your blood pressure to raise to extreme amounts. One in four Americans die from heart disease every year. Studies have shown that people who eat fast food twice or more a week are more likely to get diagnosed. 300,000 deaths are caused by poor diet in the U.S. each year. Many claim fast food is cheap but you might want to consider your health as well as the rest of your life. You may think fast food is cheap now, but it won't be cheaper for you later when you factor in medical costs. Is your health worth the extra money? That's up to you.